Hello Phoenix, Blair Ballin with Ballin Real Estate. So today I wanted to provide a market update as we approach the end of July. So as of a few days ago, using the Cromford report, we are right around 8,500 homes for sale without a contract on them. Last month was 9,880, last quarter 14,561, and last year 14,530. So basically our supply keeps going down and it's gone down substantially since April when right around when COVID hit and that number was the same as last year. We are currently at 8,200 pending listings. Uh, we were at last quarter 5,691 and last year 6,943. So pending listings wise, sales keep going up, inventory keeps going down, and the previous numbers are very similar to last year. Sales per month, 10,207. Last month, 8,177. Last quarter, 8,406. And last year, 9,500. So despite a massively big difference in supply, we are still up in demand by, I would say, a significant amount. We are hovering around 315,000 for a median price. Last year was 277. So despite an incline or increase of almost $40,000 or $30,000 uh, in an average median price or median price, we are still selling more homes. And Cromford uh, puts out an index, putting all these stats together as one number, uh, 100 is considered a balanced market. Uh, Cromford market index is now at 282. Last year was at 176. Just after COVID started to happen, we were at 178. So that number continues to incline on a very significant level. So what does this mean to our marketplace as real estate for both buyers and sellers? Let me, let me provide some uh, information here. And as always, anything that you're interested in receiving, please reach out and I'll send it to you directly. So interest rates right now, actually, let me go over this one. So interest rates by decades. In the 1970s, the average interest rate was 8.86, 80s was 12.7, fast forward a little bit to the 2010s, we're at 4.09, and now we're hovering in the mid twos, low threes, depending on, on who you speak with and what kind of product you're looking for. So what does that mean? Well, using around the median price of 300,000, if you were to get a 2.75% interest rate on a principal and interest payment only, that would be 1225. If we go back to the 2010s when interest rates were around 4%, that puts it around 1289 a month. So basically $60 more 10 years ago to own the same home. Now, I I'm fully transparent and I like to look at all numbers. Taxes and insurance could be higher too, but just looking at the numbers that stay the same, principal and interest wise, that home then was 270 grand. So you are now able to afford more home. I'm not suggesting that you intentionally buy more home just to say you own a more expensive home. What I am saying is the buying power these days is significantly greater than it was 10 years ago, 30 years ago, whatever it is. Yes, taxes are up, but principal and interest wise, because of interest payment or interest rate, you are able to afford more home. And because home prices have gone up, that doesn't automatically mean that your payment's going to be more. So if I were meeting with you and you were looking to buy a home, whether it's investment, uh, your first home, whatever the case may be, ultimately, in my opinion, the payment matters most. It's not necessarily the price of the home because what if you're putting down, if this is an investment home and you're putting down hundreds of thousands of dollars, your payment's gonna be lower. So let's look at what you're looking to pay or what you can afford each month. That's what matters most in my opinion. So right now, yes, it's a seller's market. Yes, it's an extreme seller's market. Yes, there's multiple offers and uh, bidding above list price and all this stuff that's going on. But what if that home that you're looking for, we can still get you the payment you're looking for? That's what matters. So on the sale, selling or sales side, 
great time to be a seller. Buyer side, yes, there's not much out there to be looking for or looking at, but what if we can still get you that home you're looking for, and most importantly, that payment? It's happening every day, and I'd love to help you with it. So, when you're ready to have that discussion, reach out to me. You can always visit me on my website at BlairBallin.com. You can call me at 480-233-6433. If you're watching this on a social media platform like Facebook or uh, LinkedIn or Instagram, direct message me, message me. I'm happy to help. I'd be honored to have the right to serve you with your real estate needs. Please reach out. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.